In this video, I will show you how to update the MPC Live X or One. Sequence. What is going on guys? So I want to make sure as a precaution that I say watch every part of this video. Make sure that you watch all the steps even if you have to rewind it a few times to understand it. Hopefully I'll be clear about it and then ask a question in the comment section if you have any issues or anything like that and I'll try to help you out as much as humanly possible but I will bring all the details into fruition in this video. So the first thing that you need to do is have an MPC Live X01. I mean, duh. The second thing is not obvious because a lot of people try to use third party wires with their MPC Live X01. Uh, what I'm holding here is the wire that came with my MPC Live Mark II. Make sure that you do that. Also, have your box on hand because you're gonna need to register it if you are a first time user of the MPC software or the hardware. Register it at Akai pro.com. I will have that link in the description box. Now let's start with going to the website now. So we're at akaipro.com. The link again will be in the description box. You will need to register your MPC Live X01 before you can get all the software or be able to use the firmware update if this is your first time. So what we're going to do here is navigate to this part of the screen and we're going to go into that account that I have for this video. If you already registered your account like I told you to, or if you already logged in, you should see some information on the screen that looks something like this right here. But what you need to do is go to my register products, and then you will go over here where it says register your products, and then put in the serial number like it says so on the screen. So do that, and you'll be able to claim your software just in case you haven't done it already. So once you register everything and you get all of your downloads, you'll see your new MPC 2.8. It might say 2.7 for certain people. If you have the MPC 1, you just got your MPC 1. Uh, don't worry about that. Just download it right here. Just download the proper one. If you're on Windows, you need to download the Windows download and get your serial number. And if you have a Apple computer or a MacBook Pro, then you need to download the Mac OS X version of this right here. So download it, make sure that you have that. You scroll down some more, you'll see the MPC 2 point whatever on there, mine is 2.81 since I've already registered my software and all that stuff beforehand. And you'll see a firmware updater, make sure that you download the proper OS version of that. So if you have Windows OS, download the Windows OS version. If you have the MacBook version or the Apple version of that, then you need to download this firmware. Make sure that you do that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And we're gonna move on to the next part. So the next thing we're gonna do is turn on the MPC. Uh, make sure that you have it plugged up. So have it plugged up to a power source. It doesn't matter which one you have, the Live X01, just always have it to a power source. Make sure that you have the proper USB type B to type A cable that was provided to you by Akai. Make sure that you have that plugged up directly into a USB port on your computer. Do not use a USB hub. I repeat, do not use a USB hub if you want it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the start button thingy and I'm gonna go over here into an empty project. Now the next thing you need to do is go into your menu and then go to the cogwheel sign and then press shift. If you don't press shift, you won't see update right here. So it's gonna tell you update. So hit update. This is, are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode? Must download firmware update from a Kai professional website before you can update this unit. That's what that says, even though you probably can't read it. But uh, we're gonna go over here and hit update. Boom, it's gonna shut down. Now it's in update mode. So it needs to be in this mode. No matter which MPC Live X or one you have, make sure that you have it in update mode, okay? So the next thing you need to do is make sure that you have that download where you have the MPC 2.81 or whatever version that you're trying to update to. And you're gonna click on that file. It's gonna extract and it's gonna say update MPC. 
and if you click on update MPC, it's going to warn you that you need to have it plugged up via USB. So plug it up via USB directly into the computer. Remember directly into the computer and now hit update MPC. And now you will see it says transferring update. It's going to go through all this right here and you're on your way. Okay. So I'm going to continue after the process is done. Now that the process is over with your MPC will reset. It's going to say done on your screen. Boom. You're done. Now we're going to test it out. So it's telling me beats await. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. I'm going to go into an empty project here. I'm going to uh, go into my browser and just load up a sound of some source. It doesn't really matter to me. I just want to see if there's any sound. I'm going to test it out using the speaker on this baby, the MPC live and this beautiful speaker here. Make sure that it's not cricket in the, in the view, which has nothing to do with anything right now. I'm just going to pick out a sound. So it just loaded up one of my drum programs that I had already uh, created. So, so it's working. You can actually hear it. Uh, obviously you're not going to hear it in the best quality right now because it's from the speaker and it's going into a lavier mic of some sort. So, uh, but it works. Everything is fine. Now let's talk about installing the MPC software. Okay. Now we're going to see if we can install the MPC software. Remember you had to download the proper version yet again. I just want to remind you I'm on windows guys. I know a lot of you guys probably didn't know or didn't want to know I'm on windows if it isn't obvious enough. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install MPC software. I'm going to say select your MPC. I got the live two here. I have the one two as well. So let's go ahead and just do the live Mark II for right now. And then it also tells you to update MPC software, uh, reinstall MPC live Mark II, run MPC. Uh, it has a check mark by this. So I'm going to download the update for the MPC software. Now it just downloaded it. Just accept, of course. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it. You have the MPC expansion builder it tells you where to, if you want a desktop shortcut and all that stuff, you know, I'm just doing everything here and then I'm going to allow it to install everything. For some people, if, if you do run the installer or if you was playing with the MPC software, you might have to go ahead and reset your computer before you do this process. Just in case, uh, somebody might say that in the comment section, I just want to fill you in on that. All right, new version of hybrid installed, whatever. That's fine. Uh, click finish. Good to go. I'm going to go ahead and run. I'm going to go ahead and run MPC real quick. See if it does that. See what goes on here. It tells you welcome to MPC 2.8. All the good stuff that you want to know. It tells you the release notes, all the bugs and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close it out. Cause I pretty much will cover all that in another video. And now what we're going to do is go to the MPC live and we're going to do some of the things that you may not know. So from here, we're just going to go and, uh, go into your menu here, hit MPC. It says, do you want to save blah, blah, blah. I don't need to do that. Yours might not say that I'm just not going to save, but what's, what's more important. So now, I am locked into what you call controller mode. I'm going to go ahead and show you on the screen here. And this is the MPC software. This isn't the beat software, but MPC beats does support your MPC live X012 as well. If you want to do that, but you have the MPC software, which is the full version of the software altogether. We'll talk about the differences in another video, but it's good to go. But I want to show you this again. If you want to get out of controller mode or into controller mode, uh, I will show you it. So over here, you'll see a little computer sign representing that it is connected to the computer. Uh, what you can do is go over here and you'll see both on the screen over here. It says uh, switch to standalone mode. I'm going to switch to standalone mode here and it's going to go through this whole thing. Uh, go back into an empty project, of course. And when I press on the pass, it's no longer connected to the software, which is cool because I don't want to I don't want to connect it to the software. Remember to get to your controller mode, you have to go to menu. Then you have to hit this sign right over here. It'll say MPC. 
you hit that sign it will say controller mode allows the npc to work with the software running on your computer that's what it says right here we're going to hit controller mode boom and now we're going to go over here to the window screen here so you can see the software and it's saying looking for a computer and now that it found a computer i'm back in controller mode which is something I'm going to be teaching a lot on this channel because it is very good. I promise you it is better than what people allow you to think. Tell me how you feel about this video. Did I help you out? Are you lost? I'm pretty sure there might be some people lost. That's fine. I'm not going to humiliate you for not being able to follow steps properly or anything like that. Some people skip it. Sometimes I have issues where I'm so excited that I forget to do a certain step. So be super cool, calm. I try to help you out. And I also will have another video on how to do this with the ISO file so you can do it via USB.